guys, welcome back to another episode of Gripworks. Today we're gonna have an uh, intro to the car you probably haven't seen yet. So here it is, it's gonna be this 2007 Honda Civic Si, also known as a FG2. And today we're gonna be installing some replacement shocks and let's get into it. Okay, so we've come, we've come to take this apart before, let's say this is the after, but pretty sure it's not supposed to be like this to separate, so I think I'm going to have to bite the bullet and uh, get some new top hats. So, up to the part store. Let's see how bad is the strut. So this is the test to see how bad it is. See how fast it'll come up. Okay. What the <laughs> heck? Wow. Okay. <laughs> and I, I guess that's a sign that maybe we changed them a long time ago. It's all spring I was feeling. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay. Moving on.
feels like it should. Right. That's probably the best description I can get. It feels like it should. These are meant to be a little bit better than stock, and that's exactly how they feel. So I'm satisfied. And that's just the front. Yeah, we still have to do the rear. So we'll, we'll do the rear on a different day? Mm-hmm, for sure. Cool. So that's it for the night. We're going to clean up. And I guess we'll catch you guys when we get to do the rear. We'll check back in. Alright guys, welcome back. We are at day two here of the KYV installation of the FG2. So now we've already installed the front by day one. It's We went through a little bit of trouble, had to find a uh, go-through set. That way we can actually access the top nuts and to actually close the top hat to the spring to the strut. So that's what kind of took us a little bit longer on that one. But we are here at day two and we're going to start on the rear. All right, so something I found out that we needed last time that we didn't have was this go-through set. I picked this one up at your local Harbor Freight. And uh, just for the rear, it's gonna be a 14 and a four. went with Coney's uh, is because they're only a little bit more than buying KYB which apparently KYB may be the original or OEM to this car or some Hondas for that matter but for the price point and for the performance I get out of the Coney's which are supposed to be better as far as dampening and pretty much the way they react to bumps or a hard cornering I think I'm getting my money's worth it. The reason why I didn't go immediately into coilovers for this build it's just because uh, it's more this is my daily driver and it's an occasional track car so I'm not taking this car too seriously as far as like stance or performance go I just wanted to really just one up it from what is stock and just go with uh, a daily plus is what I'm calling it daily plus pretty much just you're going one step up from uh, OE just to uh, for spirited driving us working on the Coney shocks with the stock springs and brand new strut mounts for front and back for uh, this project. During the installment of the shocks we did notice that the lower control and bushings were pretty shot so in the sake of refreshing everything and making it a little bit better or at least better than stock here we are again let me show you what we got here all right so I don't really have a press or really anything to kind of pop them out and pop them back in. I didn't really want to go through the hassle and I needed all of them replaced anyway. So what I ended up doing is uh, I went with K-Tune and K-Tune has these uh, better than stocks or at least differ than normal rubber hardened bushings. So I wanted to go with that. So the thing about these is that they don't include the ball joints. I was trying to look for aftermarket ball joints that were adjustable at least help me with camber but I couldn't find it. So we ended up going with just kind of stock replacement, good old Moog, can't go wrong with that. All right, so let's get to the disassembly of the stock ones and we'll get right into it. I don't know why, but everywhere I was looking, I really couldn't find anything in stock, whether it was hard race or K-Tune or, or aftermarket or just the bushings. So it, everything led to just replacing the whole arm because that's all that was really available. I got lucky with even this. I didn't want to do stock replacement. I don't like to do things last minute, so I wanted to try to gather every part that I needed for this build or for the refreshment of this car uh, for the track day that we have. It's March 6th, right? Vita Club. Vita Club at Chuckwalla. Wow, this thing is light. I saw somewhere that this whole thing was like three pounds. What? 
Show the people the bushing. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. I mean, I could have caused that. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I don't remember seeing it, like, exposed. What this seems that? fair. That one seems pretty fair. And then we have that tear. So that's been gone for a while. And look at Yeah. Shot. It's it's shot. There's a it's not well much not very stiff. So one down, one to go. We have it we have our moog ball joint installed we got our grease fitting here let's go ahead and put this in one rubber looks good same issue torn bushing and broken slash slop toast toast wrapped up we are wrapped up now with the FG2 2007 Civic SI we've done the front shock or front struts rear shocks we have done some brake pads front and rear we went with the upgraded HP plus Hawk pads in the front hopefully it give us some good brake fade resistance and better bite on the track there and we got in the alignment so alignments good we are at negative camber front and back just to hopefully give us a little better grip in the corners and lastly we or we uh, installed the K tuned arms on the uh, lower control arm we did a whole replacement on that and that's gonna do it for the track prep on the FG2 build thank you so much for watching guys like and subscribe mm -hmm.